Hi, this is Doug with Stride Graphics and Web Design, and in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do a simple post in WordPress. And just the kind of things that uh, you want to, guidelines you want to stick to when you are adding a post. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'll show you the front end of this site I'm working on. Um, if you just go over to blog, you will see that there is a post here. So, um, it, this is just a snapshot of the post. So, you got the thumbnail. The title, a uh, little bit of a preview of the text, along with uh, when it was posted, which author, which category, uh, and then a spot for comments, whether they're enabled or disabled is up to you. Um, if we click on read more, we'll get the full post with the full image, and here's all the content for that post. Okay, so in order to add a new post in your back end, WordPress dashboard, um, if you look just underneath the dashboard home updates option you'll see posts and if we click on all posts you'll see currently there's the September newsletter that we just looked at. Let's go back to the archive page here. Okay so in order to add a new one just simply click add new up top here or underneath the posts menu item you can also click add new there as well. So first thing we need to do is give your post a title and it's important to be descriptive whatever your post is about. Um, try to limit the number of stop words so to, the, and, but. Um, try to keep those minimal and be very descriptive in your title just to help with SEO. Um, so, so we'll just give that a title. Um, now here's your body of content and this is very much the same as adding a new page and editing a page. The only difference with a post is they will all be allocated to your blog page. So you'll have the archive, you'll have a huge list of all your posts. Um, you can organize by category and uh, just gives you a lot more flexibility. Um, so a good rule of thumb, always start with an H1 tag. So this is a heading one very important again be descriptive in how you're writing your your headings in the page content and then you'd have your introductory paragraph um, you definitely want to kind of stick with some key phrases and key terms related to your post in the first sentence of your first paragraph um, utilize bold italics um, in that first paragraph as well and again that just helps with SEO follow up with a, another heading. We'll jump her down to heading two. Uh, you don't want to overuse heading tags. Google's cracking down on too many H tags. So be careful and thoughtful of how you use them. So I'm just going to use three in here. And just in the drop down, we'll select H3. Um, Lists are also really good. Google likes to see lists, so let's put a let's put a list in here. All right. So there. Now we've got our contact all constructed. Um, the next thing I like to do is jump over to the right hand side. You'll see categories. Um, so just check off which category you want your post to fall under. Um, you might have a post that could be applicable to multiple categories. Um, you know, if you have a category called cars, well, you might also want to break that down to colors of cars. So you would then select cars as the category, but also red, or sorry, uh, yeah, red would be the category. So you can just add a new category by selecting add new category here, type it in, And then just click on add new category and the one that I just added it just by default will select that now again it may correspond to another category as well so I'm going to select two and that way when people are doing a search um, or going through the filter uh, it'll pull up all the relevant posts related to what they're looking for so it's really important to keep in mind when you're first creating your your blog to be organized uh, so you don't have to go back if you thought of a category that it may apply to and you know have to edit all your old posts you want to kind of think that out really thoroughly uh, think it through good first 
Um, okay, and uh, if you have an SEO plugin, uh, it's really great. Work uh, Yoast SEO. Um, it's going to be just like a page where you can edit all the uh, metadata for that page. So the title of the page, uh, along with the, the description. Um, so that's good practice. Uh, you want to be doing that with your posts uh, as well, just as important as pages. Um, and then finally, just on the bottom right, set featured image. And you basically just, just pick out an image that you want that's going to be related to that post. Images are important. I would even recommend adding an image within the page content as well. Keep in mind the name of your image. You want that also to correspond with the topic of your post. Uh, make sure you have your alt tag correctly labeled as well. Again, following suit with the topic at hand. Um, but even having another image, you can embed a completely different image within the body of text itself. Okay. So once you've gone through all that carefully, um, the only thing left to do is just hit publish. And I'm going to delete my cache here in case you have a caching plugin. And I'm going to refresh the front end of the site. And there we go. So the most recent post will come up at the top. And there's the second one. I would use the same image here. So if we just click on that, then we'll have, there's all the dummy text. Here's this secondary image that I used. Heading two, heading three, and there's our list. And um, there's lots of great sidebar widgets where you can display individual posts, the most recent ones, um, by date, by category. Um, so that's why it's really important to make sure that your categories are well thought out um, because blogs can get very large. You may have a hundred to a thousand blog posts. So really plan that out before you start your blog um, and make sure that you don't have to go back and change a bunch of things on, on old posts you did years ago. Anyway, that's it for now. That's how you post to your WordPress site. Thanks for watching.